Hey guys, uh, this is Jyoti. Madhura is with me and we Hi. are back. <laughs> we are back with another reaction and uh, it's a first for the channel today. What are we reacting mm -hmm. to? Tell us. We are reacting to BTS. <laughs> you know, to, it scares me a little because A, I have never heard any BTS music and I don't recognize okay. them. Like I don't know their faces or their names. And then okay. I've heard of the BTS army, which then comes at anyone yes. who says yes. anything they don't like about BTS. But uh, let's do this. Let's do this. It is Dynamite. So right? we are want. reacting to the new single Dynamite, which they dropped sometime last um, um, August. I think the song was released. It's the it's from their new album, and. Um, uh, obviously, they've been around for a while. I think the, the band was formed in 2010. Yeah. But they've crossed over and they've had international acclaim since I think 14, 15 is when they've crossed over. And now they are very clearly part of, they're not just a Asian or just a K-pop act. Now they've definitely crossed over and they've taken over the world, as as you mentioned, with the BTS army and, and um, their popularity. So, yeah. Dynamite so they, is their new They've only single? sung in, in Korean so far, uh, correct? This is the first English single. No, even the earlier ones they had, they've had English lyrics. Uh, you know, uh, they have been dropping lyrics. But the one before this was a collab they did with Sia. Um, um, so they have been. Uh, it's not just, you know, lyrics in Korean. So, so I think they uh, crossed over a while ago, like you said. They, but I feel like yeah. uh, they conquered more age groups over the last few years. Yes. Right? Yes, Earlier, they were yes. more, from what I heard, they were more mm -hmm. of a teenage, teenager's mm -hmm. favorite mm -hmm. uh, pop mm -hmm. group and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Okay. I'm excited. Ready? <laughs> Yes. One, two, three, play. My first BTS song. Oh.
okay okay interesting full disclosure i have to admit i think i heard the song on the radio here i'm sure I you must have. have caught it it's it, I'm, I'm sure i've caught it in the because when the na 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 comes in i'm like i've heard it in heard the cab uh, so i sure, not watched yeah. the video um oh. it's also i'm I, uh, you tell me. This was your first BTS video and BTS song. So <laughs> you tell me. What do you think? I feel like every single one of them has such screen presence, right? They're so comfortable owning it in front of the camera. Is what I mm-hmm. kind of stood out for me because a obviously like they know how to move. They've got the mm-hmm. moves. Uh, mm-hmm. Very good dancer. Every single one of them. Um, mm-hmm. but it's another thing about the confidence in the eyes right when you're staring directly at the camera that was there mm-hmm. in all of them like they're just i mean mm-hmm. obviously they've been at this for a while and i'm late to the game but mm-hmm. <laughs> they were just uh, they were owning it and um, they've got the moves and i just i liked uh, how uh, uh, they also have their own individuality in terms of style mhm Right, like it'll take me a while to recognize, uh, like to know their names and to know, know their names who, and yeah, because I don't, who, yeah. I don't know yeah. that. But uh, each one has his own style and yeah. um, very unique and very different. So, and I've, I've, I've been to Korea and I've been to Japan and all, uh, like South Asia most of it. And I have to say, like I'd heard that fashion in Japan is, ooh, but I feel like Koreans. Take no, it. I think Koreans are the a next, different league. They Koreans just, are a different league, I think. They up I, things. I, they take things up a yeah. notch, is basically what I'm saying. Yes. And uh, yes. when they have idols like this, you can see why. Because you know, like to yeah, okay. Anyway, I won't go into that too much. But you gotta like. Uh, you got to you got to just wear what you like wearing and and obviously they've been styled mm-hmm. for the video but i've seen them mm-hmm. in interviews and stuff and they just carry themselves with so much confidence it doesn't matter what yeah. they're wearing it kind of yeah. has uh, yeah. yeah that's that's very the thing uh, the song is so catchy i mm-hmm. mean it kind of got me into this happy zone it's just yes Yes, it's, it's got a, really nice energy. It's yeah. a nice energy, and the hook is very, very catchy. The yeah, uh, I mean, you know, what was that? You, you uh, could just with that Justin what? song that uh, when when it released, you and I couldn't stop dancing to it in the office. Um, the can't stop the feeling. Yes, from the Trolls movie. It was just such a happy song, you know. Uh, this has got that vibe. Like it's just the happy song. You can listen to it. the hook is stuck in your head instantly. Yes, yes. Also, it had that disco vibe. Vibe. Uh, kind of, it reminded me of that. Ha! Huh, because all of them also are singing in the falsetto, so yeah. I think that also happens, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I I haven't watched a uh, I have to say the music video was a refreshing change for me. Um and again disclaimer this is no shade on anybody else but a lot of the times we react to you know certain music videos all the time where huh. you know there's a certain theme across all of them. So for me to see a boy band video which was a true boy band video right i mean i'm a 90s kid this is this is the kind of music like i'm from the backstreet boys meets boy zone meets five you know from take five take that all of them sync so in sync so with all of them when it's a boy band you know it's 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 a similar video like this right where yeah. it's showcasing the song and each one of them they don't get into uh, with and especially with larger bands you don't really get into a major theme and there is no music video or an arc or something right because sometimes it happens but mostly it's about the song so for me it was nice to just watch that mm. and um, it, i mean it's beautifully shot it's a very simple video but i think just the whole styling and just how they've kept it clean and and like very simple lines the clothes the vibe everything kind of worked for me and i was like yeah. i haven't seen a nice boy band video in forever yeah. that's what i was thinking you know i haven't seen one of these in forever so yeah also yeah. it's like it's a song that you instantly want to get up and start kind of start dancing to yes. but your eyes will yes. still remain glued to the screen yes. because uh, it's just it's yes. a it's a very captivating video. Yes, 
yes, it is. And yes. I like all the tributes they did. I think I heard Rolling Stone. Uh, yeah. He did the Michael Jackson. Jackson. Or, and then um, he did LeBron. There was the LeBron mention. Yes. And they were dropping. So I think nicely done. Nicely, nicely yeah. done. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I'm going to add this to so many of my playlists. I think Are you going to go down a uh, BTS rabbit hole now? I just may. I just may. And uh, if anyone from the army is watching this, <laughs> please let me know the songs in the correct order that I should go <laughs> you know, get into. <laughs> uh, yes. Also, somebody please give her a crash course on, on BTS and the whole Hallyu wave and, and uh, the other K-pop artists that she should watch. And if you have any recommendations to let us know, we would love to react to those. Um, and uh, with that, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.